Today I'm going to teach you how to retouch an image like a pro retoucher in Photoshop. Hi there, welcome to this training. My name is Emax from Pure Dreams Works. On today's tutorial, I'm going to teach you how to professionally retouch an image using the frequency separation technique, dodge and burn, and color grading. So let's get right into it. So this is the image we'll be working with. To start with, we'll smoothen our skin by applying the frequency separation technique. So to do that, you duplicate the background layer. So I'll hit Command J twice to duplicate the background layer. So you come to the first layer, you rename it as smooth. Then I will rename the second layer texture. So let's hide the texture layer for now. Select the smooth layer. Let's zoom in so we can see the effect. Come to filter, blur, Gaussian blur. So we set the radius at 2 pixel. You hit enter. Okay. Then you reveal the texture layer. So let's reveal the texture layer. This time around, I'm going to go to the blend mode option and set my blend mode to linear light. Then you come over to image apply image you set the layer to smooth so we are selecting this layer so you set it to smooth you keep your channel at rgb come to your blending options change it to subtract and make sure your offset is set to 128 so you hit enter this is looking good already you hit enter now it's time to actually smoothing the skin so you come to the smooth layer select the smooth layer so the tool we'll be using for this is the mixer brush tool so you come over here right click and select the mixer brush tool so let me zoom in so we can see the effect so the next adjustment I'm going to make is the wet slider so I like to reduce it to somewhere around 25 and there's no specific number actually this depends on the resolution of your image so for this particular image i would like to leave it somewhere around 26 and take the load to somewhere around you know 30. so now that we have that out of the way we'll start brushing over the image So I'll brush slightly over the lips. It's actually not necessary, but I just like to, you know, brush over it slightly, especially when the lips are off. So we'll go over to the neck area and brush over it. Like I said, make sure you preserve the highlights and the shadows. Make sure you preserve the highlights and the shadows. If not, your image is going to look flat. So this is what our image is looking like. So let's see before and after, before, after, before, after. So for the next step, I'm going to zoom in, select the spot healing brush tool and make sure your texture layer is selected and just take out all these tiny blemishes on our face.
and for the nose i'm going to use the chrome stamp tool make sure your opacity is set to somewhere around 45 and just slightly brush over the nose So there you have it, I think we are good. For the next step, I'm going to apply the dodge and bone to enhance the highlights and shadows of the image. So to achieve that, you come to your adjustment layer icon, you select the curves adjustment layer. So I'll quickly rename this to dodge. So for the dodge, you will increase the exposure to somewhere around here. Hit command I on your keyboard to invert and we create another adjustment layer curves and you rename this to burn so for the burn i would reduce the exposure to somewhere around here and hit command i again on your keyboard to invert it so let's start with the dodge select the dodge layer select your brush tool and zoom in before you start brushing make sure you set your opacity to somewhere around 20 25 and let's quickly brush over the highlight areas so let's see before and after this is before this is after this is before this is after if you notice the effect is too much on the image, do well to come to your opacity and reduce your opacity. So for this image, I'll reduce it to somewhere around 70. So this is before, this is after. So I like what it's looking like. I will still take it to somewhere around 65. Okay, so let's quickly move to the burn. Zoom in and brush over the shadow area so for the burn i would reduce my opacity a bit further to somewhere around 12. so let's quickly brush over the shadow areas so let's see the before and after before after before after so i would reduce the opacity a bit further to somewhere around 81 or let's say 80 so you see before and after before and after so this is looking good you can see that our image is popping already so the next step is to color grade the image so for the color grading, I'll come to the adjustment layer icon, select the solid color. So I'll pick a color somewhere between the yellows and the reds. Um, okay, let's, so let's pick this and I'll take my blend mode to multiply and reduce the opacity. So create another adjustment layer, also solid color adjustment layer. By the way, if you want to learn more on how to color grade an image, I did a detailed tutorial on how to color grade an image in Photoshop. I will put a link to the image at the end of this video. Okay, so let's continue. Uh, for this color, I'm going to pick somewhere around, somewhere between the blue and the cyan. And this looks good. So you hit OK and change the blend mode to lighting. So I'll reduce the opacity to somewhere around 10. So I'll come down to color fill one and take down the opacity a bit further. So for the next step, I'm going to add another adjustment layer. So you come down to the adjustment layer icon and select the solid color adjustment layer. So basically we'll be working with the uh, the reds and the yellows. So to start with, I'm going to work with the. I'm going to start with the reds. So you drag your slider, your cyan slider forward. So if I drag it to the end, you see what it looks like. So, but that's not what we're trying to achieve. 
so i'll leave it somewhere around eight so i'll come down to the magenta and see if we can get anything here so for this i'll just set it somewhere around three so i'll move over to the yellows and see so i don't think we need the yellows so set reset it to zero so let's select the yellows over here and drag the cyan slider this time around i'm going to drag the cyan slider backwards to somewhere around 11 minus 11. so i think we're good i like what it's looking like already before we proceed if you're not happy with what the color is looking like you can still make slight adjustment to it so we'll come to this solid color fill layer double click on it in this case i would like to pick a more saturated color so somewhere around here would be good so you hit enter so that's it i love what it's looking like so for the next step we're going to brighten our eyes so you zoom in make sure the smooth layer is selected select your brush to make sure your foreground is set to white so you set your blend mode to color and increase your opacity to somewhere around 31 and brush over the eyes so you notice the eyes are getting brighter So the next step is to change the blend mode to normal and continue brushing over the eyes. This time around, I'll reduce the opacity to somewhere around 20. So this is what our image is looking like. So the eyes are looking brighter now. So before we wrap this up, I would like to make a few adjustments. You come over to your selective color adjustment layer and take this red slider down to somewhere around four. That's it. So for the next step, I'm going to blend our skin tone. So you come over to the smooth layer, make sure your brush tool is selected. Come over here to the foreground color and sample the color you're going to be brushing over her skin so i'll pick from somewhere around here okay this looks good we hit okay make sure your blend mode is set to color and opacity somewhere around 30 or 29 whichever works for you and slightly brush over her skin So the purpose of this is to make sure the skin tone is even. And there you have it. For the final step, I'm going to sharpen the overall image. To achieve that, you hit Command Shift Option E on your keyboard and merge all the layers together. So let's zoom in and see what it looks like. So you set your blend mode to linear light. Come over to filter, order, high pass. And you take your high pass to somewhere around one. So I think one looks good. So you hit okay and this is before. And after if you think the image is looking too sharp you can come over to your opacity and drag the slider down somewhere around 80 so I think we're good with this so this is our final image so let's quickly see before and after before after before and after so there you have it this is my skin retouching workflow from start to finish 
If you love this tutorial, do well to hit the like button, subscribe to this channel and hit the notification bell to keep receiving amazing tutorials from us. So I'll see you in the next training.